What happened in Against the Tide TV and Megachurch project in November? In November, the most important spiritual topic in Poland was the fall of the image of the Polish Pope John Paul II as a flawless saint. This had to do with the publication of the Vatican's report on former Cardinal McCarrick and the release of a film about the role of John Paul II's secretary, Cardinal Dziwisz, in covering pedophilia in the Catholic Church. In Poland, there are more than 700 monuments of John Paul II and thousands of streets, hospitals, squares and schools of his name. In discussions on spiritual topics in the mass media, columnists, professors, politicians and artists are much more likely to refer to John Paul II's statements than to the Bible. This has led to the situation of Poles being unwilling to learn the facts since it would destroy the world of their values. Recently, however, many of our compatriots have begun to see the spiritual prostitution of the Catholic Church, the tolerance of sin and the incompatibility with Jesus' teachings. Quite often, particularly young people look up the term apostasy, that is abandonment of the Catholic Church. We have been prepared for this process for years. In November, we broadcast numerous shows on this topic and we hosted the most prominent authorities who debunked the myth of John Paul II. Father Professor Andrzej Kobylinski, the head of the Department of Ethics of the Cardinal Stefan Wyszyński University in Warsaw and attorney Artur Novak, writer, publicist and lawyer of victims of pedophile priests, appeared on our television several times. An episode of the daily live program entitled Brothel or Church turned out to be our most popular program in November. So far, it has gained almost 200,000 views. Several hundred people commented on the show. As a result of the white publicity, the mainstream media were forced to mention our television a few times, which is very rare. In November, we published two evangelization videos. The first one was about the problem of fear of death in the times of COVID-19 and the second one was an expression of gratitude to the medics for putting their health and lives at risk every day in the fight against the pandemic of the Chinese virus in Poland. Unfortunately, in November, we witnessed a record number of deaths due to COVID-19, the highest being 674 deaths in one day. In connection with this traumatic situation, we hosted Professor Krzysztof Simon, an expert in infectious diseases at the Medical University of Wroclaw and advisor to Prime Minister Morawiecki. We also hosted Dr. Michał Sutkowski, President of Warsaw Association of Family Practitioners, Professor Tomasz Dzieciątkowski, virologist and microbiologist from Warsaw Medical University, and Professor Konrad Reidak from the Medical University of Lublin, author of the world's first clinical report on mild COVID-19 in patients taking amantadine for neurological reasons. On November the 3rd, we organized an election night on our television. Together with the members of our community in the USA, we commented live on the initial results of the US presidential election. Among the controversy over this year's election, we hosted PhD Michael Yun, the initiator of the Taiwanese for Trump campaign, which was a part of the March for President Trump in Washington. We also had Roger Simon, an Epoch Times analyst, Rayla Campbell, an African-American Republican congressional candidate, journalist Alex Newman, lawyer Larry Kleiman, and Scotty Curley, a lecturer at Liberty University Tara N., founder of Polish-American Brotherhood and a Hungarian expert, Jean Borzolt, who said that Donald Trump is a better president for Europe than Joe Biden. Our Israeli correspondent Ivan Bolostenko expressed his support for President Trump in Hebrew. We continue to pray for America and, above all, for the Christians in America. May they see the danger their country and thus the whole world is in. Johnny Daniels, founder and president of the From the Depths Foundation, appeared on our television. 
our guest promoted a, a Christmas campaign for the Polish writers among the nation, who due to the pandemic, for the first time since World War II, will mostly spend Christmas alone. Against the Thai TV and Your Movement Foundation have engaged in the campaign for Polish heroes. In November we organized another online megachurch gathering. Along with 150 people, we had an opportunity to build a sense of community. Together we prayed for more than one hour. Glory to God that we have been able to experience the community with each other and with God. We are about to finish the Polish translation of the book Replacing Darwin, made simple, by PhD Nathaniel Jensen. Please pray for a vivid reaction of Polish readers to the book and for the development of the creationist ministry in Poland. We pray for a financial blessing for the megachurch project and against the Thai TV project, especially when the situation of polls is becoming more difficult. We are aware of the fact that fewer and fewer viewers will be able to support us. We have made the necessary savings and hope that we will survive this difficult period without having to reduce the scale of our activity.